because it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. You like Peter Paul and Mary? Yes, I do. I'm a big fan. Great song. Yeah, one of my favorites. Who would have thought it wasn't really about a dragon, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? You know, the whole drug thing. No, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Some people uh, think that to puff the magic dragon means to, they're really to, um, to smoke, uh, smoke a marijuana cigarette. Or, well, puff's just the name of the boy's magical dragon. Right. Are you a pothead fucker? It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. What's going on, everybody? Chad from Beard Hops Podcast. Friday morning beer review time again. This week just absolutely flew by. I mean, crazy. <sighs> but I'm glad it's Friday and. I'm glad to be doing a Friday morning beer review and hopefully have a nice, uh, relaxing weekend in front of me. Should be a good one. Uh, today, I'm doing a Wisconsin brewery called The Hop House. Hop House Brewing out of Verona, Wisconsin. This is Magic Dragon, a double IPA. Not my usual... Come on, dogs. Seriously, go. Go, go, go. Not my usual uh, go-to for... Friday morning beer review. However, the Magic Dragon art artwork caught my attention, and it gave me another excuse to grab a can with a boat on it to go to my uh, collection up there. So it's a uh, it's got a cool uh, matte finish. Um, there's I mean there's no texture. It's just it's smooth, but it's not a glossy glossy can. I kind of like that. It's got a nice feel to it. Hop House's logo up here with the Hop Flower Magic Dragon. This dragon is just breathing smoke, it looks like, providing wind and breeze to the sailboat. So you got Hop Flower here, and then uh, looks like some wheat. Kind of looks like wheat. Hop House Brewing Company, Verona, Wisconsin. Independent craft beer logo. Always nice to see from the Brewers Association. This beer is brewed with three pounds of hops per barrel. This double India Pale Ale serves up a mouthful of citrus, plus it's made with bits of real dragon. Hmm. And then it says, so you know it's good. Bits of real dragon. I don't know if I want to drink this now. Nah, who am I kidding? It's a beer. 8.2% uh, ABV. It's a 12-ounce can. Let's open it up. A little oh crap made a little messy mess from the can kind of a weak smell but it is citrusy uh, let's get her poured and sniffed and tasted Whoa, stay. So it's got a nice uh, golden amber color to it. That head kind of rushed up a little quicker than I thought it would. It's taller than I thought it would be. Although um, IPAs, especially double IPAs, seem to uh, have a nice fairly thick head on them anyway. So let me give this a sniff, a sniff while it dissipates. Oh, it's got a nice smooth citrus smell. It's not overwhelming. It's not strong. It doesn't have anything really that just jumps out at you. It's just a nice refreshing citrus smell. Maybe some pineapple though. I get like a pineapple and orange um, if I were to pick out fruit smells, but it's just generally a nice refreshing fruit smell. I like it. Prost, everybody. Let's give it a taste. Well, that's really good. Let's see, it's got a 90 IBU rating. 
But as we all know, Jake, IBUs don't matter. And in this case, I would say it's probably, it's one of the most drinkable 90 IBU plus rated beers I've, I've ever had. It's very, very smooth. There's no bitter beer face happening here to coin a term from years ago. Um, but this being, you know, bitter beer in a, in a positive, being used in a positive way. Yeah, it doesn't have a, a, a ton of bitterness. Just, I mean, on the back end there, you can, you can taste the, the bitterness, but it's not bad at all. Mm. It's nice. It's very, it's nice and citrusy. It's got a the smell that goes with the the drink really gives a full on sensory assault of citrus. You got this pineappley orange aroma coming out of it. A very nice smooth citrus flavor with a very very hoppy mid range as it washes across the palate in a, in a smooth bitter finish. Really really tasty. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. And if we look at Untapped, a lot of people like this beer. 4,948 total check-ins at this point, 4,000 unique, uh, 3.85 at an average uh, average rating. The Untapped description says, brimming with an audacious amount of hops, this double IPA serves up a mouthful of citrus, grapefruit, and mango. Suppose the bitterness comes from grapefruit. And it's funny that they say mango because I almost said mango over orange, but I wasn't quite sure if it was mango. So, I mean, the orange, the orange smell that I was getting, I, I think could probably go either way. Um, but if, if they're describing it as mango, then mango it is. Three pounds of hops per barrel as it delivers unsurpassed aroma and flavor. Yes. Plus it's made with real bits of dragon. So, you know, it's good. Uh, hops on or hop on the dragon, frolic in the autumn mist and get ready for some magic um, autumn. I don't know. If this is necessarily an autumn beer for me. I would. I drink it. Well, I drink any kind of beer anytime. But this is a this is a nice summery, maybe a late summer beer. Me eh, autumn, whatever. Added to Untapped. Huh. This one actually doesn't say when it was added to Untapped. Weird. First time I've ever not had an added to Untapped date. Anyway, so I jumped to untap first just to kind of, just to kind kind of, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Change things up? Why couldn't I think of the word change? Sometimes my brain doesn't work all that great first thing in the morning. Uh, Hop House Brewing, I'll go to their website, located in Verona, Wisconsin, which is over by Madison, Madtown, southwest side of Madison, I believe. They trace their roots back to uh, Denver, Colorado. This is where the first beers were crafted and the crazy idea of opening a brew pub took shape. Uh, They moved the family back to Wisconsin and started testing and brewing recipes in their basement. And uh, June 25th, 2015, they opened their doors for the first time. They had four beers on tap. It's growing like crazy. They've been uh, looking at expansion plans. 2017, they launched their first or packaged their first six packs. They started brewing larger batches of their beer at Octopi Brewing, which wasn't last week's beer in a partnership with Octopi. I think it was. Come a long way since opening. Uh, They've got a food menu and a very nice beer lineup. You can always find our year-round beers on tap, but we also offer a variety of unique beers on a seasonal rotating basis. It's owned by Phil and Sarah. Uh-oh. How do I say that last name? Hext? H-O-E-C-H-S-T. Phil and Sarah Hext. I hope I got that right. Uh, Phil and Sarah have uh, made this dream a reality and are guided by the following mission statement. Hop House Brewing Company offers handcrafted, exceptional, inspired, and unique beers by combining equal parts science and artistry sparked by a belief that every community deserves a place to gather and come together as neighbors to enjoy a pint of beer and worthwhile conversation. That is a fantastic mission statement. I absolutely love the part about every community deserves a place to come together and drink. They have a bunch of beers. The Magic Dragon is a year-round beer and drafting cans. I've had two, two other beers from Hop House. I've had their First and Ten, which is an amber ale, and I've had their Plaid Panther which is a Scotch Ale, uh, both very good. So that's a quick look at Hop House Brewery, Verona, Wisconsin, the Magic Dragon Double IPA, very, very good. 
uh, I'm going to enjoy drinking this six pack that I picked up over the weekend. It's going to be, uh, I'm sure it'll be gone by Sunday at the latest. Prost, everybody. Cheers. Enjoy the weekend. Be safe. We'll see you next Friday. Mm. Ooh, that is some good dragon bits.